Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes arriving with the release of Windows 11 build 26052, which is available in the dev channel and in the Canary channel. These changes are expected to be part of version 24H2, which the company plans to release during the second half of 2024. This release includes a lot of new stuff, so let's dive right in. But before, remember to click the like button so YouTube pushes this video to more people. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. On Windows 11 build 26052, Microsoft is adding the sudo command to Windows 11. The sudo or super user do, this is a command already available in Linux, macOS, and other Unix based operating systems. And on Windows, it allows you to run elevated tools without running the terminal as an administrator. Using this command, you can perform many actions, such as deleting protected files, invoking elevated commands, and opening a new window to perform any task. However, this is an option that you have to enable manually through the settings app. And to do that, you need to go to settings. And then from the system section, we go to the for developers page. And in here, we're now going to see a new enable sudo setting. And when you enable it, you will have three different options. The inline option that gives you the experience similar to the one on Linux and Mac OS, where you just type the sudo command plus the rest of the command and perform the action in elevated mode. Now, if you choose it in a new window option, when you type the sudo command, it will open a new window in elevated mode. And if you choose the with input disable, this will run the terminal in line as an administrator, but with the standard input closed in the window, you execute the elevation. Now let's switch to the terminal to see how the sudo command works. So right here, I'm on the C drive. And as you can see, we have a bunch of files and folders. So if you run the delete command to remove a file, let's say the recovery file, let's do recovery.txt. We're going to get an error because we're in the root of C and you need administrator privileges to modify any of the files. So now let's do a sudo command to elevate the process without having to switch windows. So the only thing that you have to do is just type sudo and then the command that you want to use, in this case, delete recovery.txt. And you can now see that we run the terminal in elevated mode, but we didn't have to open the terminal as an administrator. Windows 11 now includes an updated version of Copilot with a new context menu that surfaces different actions depending on the content that you copy into the clipboard. When you perform a copy action, the Copilot button will now light up with different animations that Microsoft is actually testing out, and it will give you different options that you can do with the content that you have in the clipboard. Uh, for example, I'm just going to open Notepad and then I'm just going to select this text and I'm going to copy it. And as you can see, now we have a copilot animation right here with a pencil and we have three different options. The send to copilot to summarize the text that I have in the clipboard and the explain option. Now, if you were to copy an image such as, such as in a screenshot, we're going to see different options. So let's just uh, create a, sc an, a screenshot. And as you can see, now we have Copilot lighting up a photo icon. And then when we hover over the button, we get three options, which includes to send it to Copilot, explain the picture in this case, or edit the image. So now let's test this out. So I'm going to copy this text and then actually I'm going to do that again. I'm going to choose the explain option. And you're going to get a prompt to send that information to Copilot. And then everything works as when you open and use Copilot on the web and on Windows 11. Now let's see if we actually copy an image to the clipboard. Let's do that again with the snipping tool. Let's select that. And then I'm going to choose the edit image. Well, I guess that's not doing anything right now. So let's do the explain option. Nothing and the send to copilot. Well, apparently that feature is still not working correctly on the latest build 
of Windows 11. Also, starting with Bill 26,052, Microsoft is testing now the ability for Copilot to start automatically on devices with 27 inches or larger screens. So that means that on devices with larger screen, we'll now see the panel for Copilot open automatically when they sign in on their computer, this panel. However, that option comes turned on by default, but you can actually turn that off. And that option actually it's available through the personalization section on the settings app. And then on Copilot and Windows, you have the option right here, which you can turn it off and that will prevent the system for loading Copilot on a startup. Now, as part of the uh, taskbar changes on Windows 11 build 26,052, you're also going to notice that the energy saver feature now includes a new icon. Uh, as you can see right here, when that's turned on, and this is the new icon for devices that do not feature a battery. Now, if you have a laptop, you will see a similar icon, but with a battery showing you the status of the charge. So here's a better view of the icons that you're going to see in, in the energy saving feature. This one right here is for laptops and this is for desktops. Now, if we go to the settings app, more specifically to the sounds page. Now, inside of the Microsoft settings, you're going to find a new option to test a microphone and you have different testing modes that you can try, including default and communications. And you can test this with your applications and then you can choose the audio processing mode that is best for that application. However, Microsoft notes that the tool it's only for testing and it will not affect the audio mode. For this part, I don't have the settings on my computer, so I have to show you a screenshot. But basically now for hearing aids devices, it is now possible to control audio presets and ambient sounds, as you can see right here. And you can also control the experience enhancements from the property settings. Furthermore, the company is also making improvements so now you can see the battery life and connection status right from the Bluetooth device. And finally, the page also adds uh, new options to access the audio settings directly from the Bluetooth device. Now, if we go to the actual printer's settings, we are now going to find a Windows protected printer mode that you can now set up from this environment. So basically this allows you to use the new modern printer driver built into the operating system instead of using third party printer drivers. However, this option is only limited to a number of printers, at least at this time. Now this preview of Windows 11 also updates the page for the wireless settings. And now it brings the option to show the Wi-Fi network password right here on the top of the page. And when you click the show button, you will now see a barcode that you can actually use with the camera app on Windows 11 that allows you to join the network by just scanning the barcode. Now, if we go to the system settings and then we go to storage, and then we open the storage spaces settings. If you have a storage pool configured, you're now going to see that on the page, you no longer have the big OK icon. You now see the status that is OK, but without that icon. And at the bottom of the page, now we have an option to actually delete the pool before you needed to undo all the changes in order to remove it. But now there is a convenient button to delete the pool. There is also an option to update, but I have that disabled on this particular pool. So let's just click the delete button and see what happens. There we go. Now it's much easier to delete the storage pool from your computer. Now, another important improvement on Windows 11 build 26,052, it's happening on the display settings because now we have the color management settings right into the application before you needed to use control panel, but now they're built in into the settings app. So from here, you can add a new profile and even open the legacy tool to calibrate your device.
and you can do that for each of the monitors installed on the computer. Now, if we looked into the registry, when you go to the find feature, you're not going to see this option that allows you to, to limit the search to selected keys and subkeys. Outside of the operating system, Microsoft is also updating two apps, including Notepad and the Snipping Tool. So now when you go to the updated version of Notepad, when you select text and right click on it, the context menu will include a new explain with Copilot option that will send whatever you selected to the chat bot AI. So this is just another way that Microsoft is integrating its AI technology into the different apps on Windows 11. And now for the snipping tool, Microsoft is now adding the ability to insert shapes into your captures. And to do that, you will now use this new shapes button to bring up the menu. And that's where you're going to select the shape that you want to use. For example, if you want to use a circle, just click on the circle and then you can annotate your image with that specific shape. If you want to change the thickness, you're just going to use this option right here and you can change the color as well. And you can also fill that particular shape with a different color. And you can also rotate and move it around. This is just another way to make the snipping tool a little more complete and compete with other screenshot applications up there. And that's it. Those are pretty much the most significant changes that you're going to find on Windows 11 build 26052. Remember that these changes are expected to arrive with version 24H2, but Microsoft can always choose to remove and add more features to the final release. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.